Yes guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel where it is time for match week number 14 of the 2020-21 Scottish Premiership season. Uh, now, considering that there were only three games last midweek, um, it'd be interesting because uh, it was not the best of... Well, let's put it this way, I got, um, I got four points. I got four points, yeah. Um, got Dundee United, Ross County, absolutely spot on. Uh, Livingston Mullerwell, absolutely wrong. And come on, Rangers outcome as well. So I got four points. But uh, in the comments section, Reese Russell was the highest scorer with five points. He got the Livingston Mullerwell score correct. He got the Dundee United outcome. And he got the Rangers outcome as well. So five points to uh, Reese. So very, very well done. You were the high scorer for this midweek. So... Really hard games this week. Um, there are four games on Friday and two on Sunday. Um, we kick off with Aberdeen against Hibernian. And the last five between the sides have resulted in three wins to Aberdeen, one draw and one win to Hibs. And the last result was a 3-1 win to Aberdeen. Um, Aberdeen are coming off the back of a 2-0 defeat to Celtic in the Scottish Cup semi-final. Um, but yeah, I mean they can actually go and you know focus on the league now. Um, it is it's it's good good for them to do. So we'll see what uh, see what happens with that. Um, Hibs they are also out of the Scottish Cup as well, losing two one to Hearts in the uh, in the in the semi final there. Um, but yeah, will Kevin Nisbet play? That's another thing you could say. I think he could miss this game, but we'll see because he has he has sadly lost his father. Um, and that, that will have been, you know, putting a bit of pressure on him for sure. He was unlucky with the penalty, it has to be said. But, you know, that, that that's football sometimes. That is football sometimes. So, really difficult one to call this one. Um, Aberdeen, as I've said, have won three of the last five meetings. I'm actually going to go for an Aberdeen win. I'm going to go for Aberdeen 2, Hibernian 0. I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Aberdeen here. Ross County against Livingston now. Both of these sides on the back of defeats in the last game week. Uh, Ross County uh, have won two out of the last three, uh, five meetings. Livingston won the last three as well. So uh, the last result was a 2-0 win to Ross County. You have to say Ross County were very poor against Dundee United. Really, really poor. Um, yeah, they're falling down the table rapidly, actually, you'd have to say. It's not looking good for them at the moment. And, um, yeah, I mean, there has been talk that they've been trying to get fans back into the ground um, because of the the tiers uh, there. I think the Highlands is in Tier 1 and Dingwall is definitely in Tier 1. So they're trying to get some fans back in, but uh, I don't know if it's going to happen. Livingston, oh dear. I think that was probably one of the worst performances of the season against Motherwell. Just didn't get going. Um... And it wasn't very, very good. Uh, it wasn't very good either. But Livingston, um, on their travels um, quite recently, I know they lost 2-0 to Rangers the last time, but they did beat Dundee United. And they did win at Ross County last season as well. So really hard one to call. Um, but I just think I'm, I'm going to go for a county win. I just have a feeling county are going to win this one, sadly. Um, but, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Ross County in this game. I just think Ross County will be too strong for Livingston. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Ross County. St. Johnson against Kilmarnock. The last five between the sides have resulted in two wins to St. Johnson, two wins to Kilmarnock and one draw. The last result was a 2-1 win to St. Johnston. Well, both of these sides were not in action last week uh, because of the um, Scottish Cup. Uh, Hibs were meant to play St. Johnston. That was postponed, and Kilmarnock were meant to be playing. Uh, actually, Kilmarnock did play, sorry. They lost two nil, uh, They lost 1-0 to Rangers. Um, yeah, to be honest, they played well. They played well. Unlucky to you know get on the end of a defeat. But um, really, really difficult one to call because uh, both these sides have got a good record uh, between the sides. I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw in this one. I think St. Johnson come on, it will have a 1-1 draw in this game. St. Mirren against Dundee United now. The last five between the sides are all done. Three wins to Dundee United and two draws. The last result was a 1-1 draw between the sides. Um, 
Again, so Murren, another team that didn't have a game. So their game with Celtic was postponed. Um, and you know what? They've not had a game for absolute ages due to the demonetised virus. So that is that's that is one thing you can say for sure. Dundee United on a very good win last week. 2-0 against Ross County. Looking very, very good. They're definitely picking up a little bit of form, it has to be said. So with the fact that St Mirren haven't played in what seems like four or five weeks now, I think. I think it's something like that. Um, I'm going to go for a Dundee United win. I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to Dundee United in this game. I just think Dundee United will be too, too strong for St Mirren. Motherwell against Celtic is the featured match, uh, as you can see from the thumbnail. Uh, and the title is at Motherwell against Celtic. And the last five between the sides have got in. Five wins to Celtic. And the last result was a 4-0 win to Celtic. Uh, Motherwell got a very good 2-0 win against Livingston. Really, really good performance from them. Very, very interesting to see how they can do against Celtic. And you have to say that um, you know Celtic did win 2-0 against Aberdeen. But they now find themselves nine points behind Rangers. And uh, I know that they've got two games in hand. I think they're last against Aberdeen and St Mirren. Um, so, you know, they've got two games in hand. But can you see them winning that? Can you actually see them winning those games? I'm not sure. I really am not sure. So that is, that's one thing I can say for sure. Um, yeah, really hard one to call this one. Celtic playing okay. Motherwell's... I've you know picked up really really well recently as well. Um, I'm gonna go for a three-one win to Celtic. I just have a feeling Celtic will be too strong for uh, Motherwell. So three-one to Celtic, and then we have Rangers against Hamilton to finish the game week off uh, and before the international break as well. Last five between the sides of them four wins to Rangers and one win to Hamilton, and that Hamilton win was the last meeting was a, a 1-0 win to Hamilton. Um, well, Rangers keep going on very, very impressively. 1-0 win away at Kilmarnock. Tavernier with the winner uh, yet again. He's, he's, he's been a very, very important player for Rangers, it has to be said. Um, Hamilton haven't had a game uh, this week uh, because their game against Ham Aberdeen was postponed because of the Scottish Cup. So... Really, really hard one to call uh, for them, how they're going to do um, in this one. But I've just got a feeling. I've got a feeling Rangers could go a bit goal crazy here. And um, I think Rangers will win this one very, very comfortably. Rangers 4, Hamilton 0. I'm going to go for. So we'll see what happens for sure. So that is it. That is match week 14 done and dusted. As always, leave your predictions in the comment section down below. And like Reese Russell, you will get a shout out in the next video. So my predictions are as follows. Aberdeen 2, Hibernian 0. Ross County 2, Livingston 1. St. Johnson 1, come on at 1. St. Mirren 0, Dungeon United 1. Mullable 1, Celtic 3. And Rangers 4, Hamilton 0. So that is it. That is match week 14 done and dusted. As always, leave your predictions in the comment section down below. And we'll see what happens as well. And unfortunately... This is the last game week until the international break. So we'll be back in a couple of weeks, which, uh, yeah, and um, obviously good luck to Scotland. Might, might um, release a video about that, about that Scotland-Serbia game. I might, but we'll see. We'll see what happens as well. But uh, until then, it's goodbye from me. If you are new around here, then please hit the subscribe button. Smash the like on this video as well. And I'll see you all in the next one. Enjoy the international break and enjoy your match week 14 fixtures. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for watching.